YouTubers, it's Tuesday. I have to think what day it is anymore. Um, I have uh, just a few things I want to say. Uh, we have slowed down our uh, going to the stores because with the gas prices down here, we when we go out, we go to the stores. That's how we do it. We don't just go to a store just to film stuff. So the last couple of days, we've been home. Richard has a couple of doctor's appointments, and um, we have to do some stuff around later on in the week. So I, we will be filming um, some of the stores then. Uh, we're probably going to go to BJ's on Thursday. So I don't know if it's going to hit Thursday or if it's going to hit next week, but we will be going to BJ's because we have a few things we have to get, like garbage bags and stuff like that, and they're cheaper in the long run with their garbage bags. And um, so we'll probably do BJ's on Thursday. I don't know if it's going to be early morning or whatever. It's all according to what time we get out and get about. So, and then I was going to do Publix because, um, you know, I, I like to, Publix is similar to, um, I don't want to say ShopRite. Um, Back in the day when, like, well, I think there's still Acme up in New Jersey, like an Acme or something like that. They're a little bit richer um, cost-wise, but, you know, they're good to get because they have a lot of BOGOs and stuff like that that's pretty good and reasonable. Um, so get on to what I was going to do today. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to, I've gotten um, some ideas from people, and they want to see what we cook on a budget. Um, our freezer is totally uh, empty. I didn't have the money to buy butcher block this or butcher box this month, so we're going to order next month, and that should last us about two months, like I said. So our freezer is basically almost empty. We just have chicken and we have a few other things. We have a pork loin and stuff like that. I found. So um, I'll show you how what we do on a budget. Uh, we basically don't spend that much a day to to cook. Um, you know, I buy five pounds of potatoes. They last us almost the whole month. Like, they'll last us to, like, if I buy them on the 1st, they'll last us to about the 20th or so. And then we're scrounging for a side dish. And the vegetables we have, um, I don't like canned, but we have been buying canned because frozen has just outrageously been priced or you can't get it. Um, and I know a lot of you people say, your stores are full down there. They're not up here. Um, we're feeling the crunch too, like, um, Rich and I are apartment hunting, and the cheapest apartment down here you can get right now, two bedroom and two bath, is like over $2,000 a month. So, Richard's holding his head, he didn't want us to say that, but anyway, so we're feeling the crunch too, and I know up in New Jersey that would probably go for about $4,000. Um, so I understand that, but we are feeling the crunch here. Our gas is not quite five dollars a gallon. It's like four eighty nine, uh, four eighty nine nine. So Richard always says four ninety. You might as well say. Um, so we are feeling the crunch, um, but I'm I'm being, I guess, thrifty on our meals, and I'm trying to figure out how to do different meals every day. Um, I bought a couple dozen eggs, which were outrageously priced. So what I like to do is, oh, let there be light. Um, what I like to do is boil the eggs up and have egg salad or um, potato salad or stuff like that. That's our new phones. Yes, we have switched over. T-Mobile has gotten to be a little expensive. So we switched over to another phone company. Um, so they had to give us new phones and new phone numbers. Um, and, the num and I don't know how to shut off the notification. You know, they send you this book and it's in English and in Spanish. But they don't tell you how to shut this volume down for notifications. So I have to explore the phone and, uh, you know, stuff like that. So we're really cutting back. And uh, like I said, we only go to the, we're go, we only go to the village, <laughs> like when we really have to. So we write down everything we need. And the last couple of days we needed garbage bags. This is a funny story. We've needed garbage bags for like a week and a half, maybe two weeks. So we went food shopping the first of the month, and we went to BJ's, because there's a new BJ's like five miles away. Dangerous, but we'll, we'll survive. Anyway, so we go to BJ's, and we're both going through the aisles. Da, 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 da. We need cat food. We need this. We need that. We didn't buy no meat. Um, so anyway, we leave, and Richard says, ah, 
we forgot the garbage bags. I said, well, how many you got? He goes, about four or five. So he officially ran out last night. So we have to get garbage bags. But it's so funny because it's like you don't realize. The st like we, 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 we've been pretty good. We've been stocked up on a lot of stuff. We don't buy candy or sweets or anything anymore, which is bad because I'm a diabetic. And everybody that's a diabetic knows if you have low blood sugar, you got to have something to push the sugar back up. But I haven't knocked on wood. Um, so... We're doing okay in this uh, economy right now, and I'd like to know if you guys are doing okay, because even though you're subscribers, um, you know, we'd like to know if you guys are doing okay, and how you're getting by, like, what shortcuts do you do, and if you notice, I haven't gotten a haircut since January, that's outrageous, the price of haircuts down here. I think it's when the snowbirds are here, oh, no, can't call them snowbirds, the seasonal people are here. They jack up the prices so high that, you know, you just can't get your hair cut to the, or you can't get an appointment. So, um, you know, that's, I haven't had it cut since January. So this is how long it got. So uh, Richard said to me, well, you got to get your hair cut. And I said, oh, yeah, okay. Because we go to these cheap places like, um, what is it called? I forget. It's one of these, uh, I, I better not say. These roadside, you know, on the highway, you know them, you know which ones they are. So you, no waiting, you just go in, and, but down here you wait about an hour. So anyway, uh, the last time I was in there, they went up from, they used to be, you used to have coupons, and they used to be $15, and this is not a blow dry, this is a cut, and you walk out with your hair wet. Okay, I don't care, because in Florida, it's going to dry in 10 seconds anyway. Why well, sit under a dryer or a blower and you're sweating when you leave? So they went up the $15, went up to $25, now the $30. And that's just for a cut. It's a wet cut. I don't even know if there's shampoo anymore. It's called a wet cut and no blow dry, $30. If you want styling, that's another $20 add-on, so that's $50. And I know I probably sound like an old grumpy old lady, 50 bucks to get your hair done. But I think that's a little too much. And because um, you're not, how much electricity are they using to style your hair? That's my thing, my pet peeve. So the, anyway, I haven't got my hair done. So <clears throat> that's one thing and we're saving money on. We're also saving money on, um, and I don't know if you guys, um, like go on a website and see in your state some official, um, see if you're a senior benefits you can get automatically like here in Sumter County you can get like cheese and stuff like that and you only have to prove that you make under a certain amount or now it's not even that it's just that you're a senior citizen um, so you know you get cheese butter I know in boot in New Jersey they had it because my aunt always got her cheese and butter and stuff like that so um, you know you could do that I'm trying to think of some other ideas I've had some, um, I, you know, you can also get, um, if you collect, now I don't know if this is state to state or if it's just Florida, but if you collect Medicare, and it doesn't matter if you have, um, if you just keep Medicare or you have a supplement or whatever, Humana does it, but uh, Richard switched off to Humana because his doctors didn't take Humana. But what they do is they give you like a little credit card well, they actually give you two credit cards. One credit card is $250, and you can charge on it, but you got to pay it back. So it's just like a regular credit card. Uh, but you only can use it at drugstores, like if you need aspirins. But which I didn't understand because they also have what they call over-the-counter. So it didn't make sense to me. I guess if it was stuff that over-the-counter didn't carry and you needed, like, I don't know, shaving cream or something was like. So um, that was $250. And then you would get a, what they call a food credit card. And that was um, whatever, you, you know, your income was. Uh, and it ranged from $25 to $100 a month. And they would load your credit card, your debit card or whatever you want to call it, your food card. And um, you could go to Walmart. There was only certain stores you could go, like Walmart, Walmart. Um, 
I think it was Winn Dixie here. You know, there was different different places you could go, and every month you got the twenty five dollars. Um, so it, that was a good deal. But now I see, um, I looked on um, Sumter County in Florida, and they're doing that for all um, seniors that are on Medicare or any kind of supplement like that. If you're as long as you're sixty five and you're collecting Medicare. Um, so that's a good thing. And um, also, I have my, my um, continuous glucose monitor back. Uh, for some reason, for six months, they gave it to me free. And then after that, they started charging me $150. And I told them I didn't want it. I would pick my fingers. So what I did was I went to um, Freestyle Liberator. And now they got a two. I used to have one. And what they do is they um, they hook you up with a company that'll take your insurance. And I just got hooked up with a company down here in Florida. It's called uh, USA Medical Diabetic Supplies. They also have the continuous, um, that's going to drive me nuts all day, a continuous um, insulin monitor where they, it, if you go high, it'll automatically give you insulin. I'm going to talk to my doctor about that because um, lately my sugars, I can't get below 180, 190. Usually they're in the 200s. So um, they gave me this. Well, here's the thing. If you're on insulin and you take insulin more than three times a day and you test your blood sugar more than eight times a day, eight or nine times a day, you automatic, your insurance will automatically pay for this. So check it out. Check, see what happens. I mean, we have to give you ideas because, you know, things are getting higher and stuff and it's, you know, take advantage of it. Um, the other thing I've been looking at is uh, new phones. Uh, they're just astronomical. Uh, um, the, the, the prices are outrageous. T-Mobile, Verizon you, is outrageous. They don't even have a senior, um, senior accounts here in Florida. They might have them somewhere else, but they don't have them here in Florida. I guess they figure they'd lose too much money. Also, car insurance. Um, our car insurance went through the roof. I'm going to be looking at other car insurances. They have some other ones out down here that you pay like $50 a um, month. I don't know how good they are, but, you know, you don't need car insurance until you have the accident. You know what I mean? So you got to have good insurance. Um, there's a whole bunch of things. If you go online and, and you type in benefits for seniors, like a whole bunch of stuff comes up and it's like you can get a reduction in your uh, property taxes, a reduction in your uh, mortgage if you still have one, a reduction. There's so many things like it, it, there's for food, there's for, you know, different things. And, it, you know, back in the day, you'd say, oh, I don't need it. Like get somebody else get it. But nowadays, you know, we need it as much as everybody else does. So, you know, please look into it because there's a lot of a lot of different um things out there go in the lot online and check it out or even if you're not if you can't go online you know, call your local county uh clerk of office and she might she or he might direct you into where you could go and get benefits um you know it's all according like i know they have a benefits for utilities now i have to check that out um they have benefits for they pay a percentage of your benefits they have a, Rich and I just signed up for, um, you get $30 off your cable bill. We don't have cable, but we have internet, so that counts. Um, and if you're affiliated with a tribe, an Indian tribe, you get about $100 off a month. So it's a good deal. Yeah, uh, Rich, you left that one right on. It's a good deal. So just, you know, look into stuff. And, um... Just find out stuff, and if you want, you can put comments below where you found some stuff, and other people can benefit from your searching, and um, you know, and see see where you can get the best deal because you know we're all in this together, uh, so we have to find a way of getting stuff a little cheaper and a little to live on a fixed income. So, you know, that's it. I'm done raveling. So, with Thank you for listening, and um, hopefully next by Thursday we can go to BJ's or something. I know we have to go out one day this week because we have to go 
get some food. So, um, so Richard said we haven't said this in a while. So if you like this, hit the like button. Um, also subscribe and hit the bell. It tells you when we put up new uh, content. And also uh, stay healthy, stay informed, and stay safe. Till next time. Bye.